I never needed to send audio directly from the mixer through the USB card into OBS until today because today I was going to record the video and I wanted to plug a microphone directly into the mixer and record the audio with the screen recording so I don't record it separately and then sync it in post and also I needed some signal going into the mixer to demonstrate something and I opened OBS and I went into settings and into the audio tab and selected the DN32 USB which is the sound card of the mixer OBS sees it but there was no sound. There shouldn't be a reason why there wouldn't be any signal. So I looked on YouTube. I couldn't find anything helpful. There was a few tutorials about how to set up the mixer with OBS, but they didn't address this problem. So if you tried to use your mixer with OBS and you didn't get any audio, here's the solution. You go into the Clark Technic website. If you have the Behringer mixer, you will type XUSB or XLive, whatever your sound card is. I have the Midas, so I'm gonna type in the N32 USB. That is the name of the sound card search for it you can see what is the thing you're gonna download from here so this is software the n32 usb audio driver this is the latest one i'm gonna hit download and download it onto my computer you'll get this file zip file right click on it extract here and you get these three files you're gonna open this one that has an administrator badge hit yes then go through the installation process just hit next 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 until it says that you're done i already installed it so i'm not gonna do it again i should mention if you install this driver you may have to change something in your recording software because right now if you choose the you only have eight inputs and outputs which is wrong you should have 32 ins and outs and that happens if you're using the asio for all v2 driver the normal driver that i showed you in previous videos so you're gonna have to click here and use the dn32 as your driver instead yes Okay, just something to be aware of in case you're wondering why you can't see anymore the rest of the inputs and outputs. That's why you're going to have to use the DN32 as your driver instead of the Azure for All. Now what you have to do in OBS is go into the settings and go into the audio tab and you have your mic slash auxiliary audio right here. Like the first one or the second one, whichever one you want, you can have up to four. Select it, decide on where you want to get the audio from. You'll get these. Before it was only the N32 USB. You didn't have these options. Right now you can set in 1 to 8 so it takes any signal that is coming from the card outputs 1 to 8 or you can say I want only 1 2 so you will have a stereo input that is coming from card 1 2 or 3 4 or 5 6 or 7 8. I set it to 1 to 8 and hit apply and click OK. I have audio but if I go into the settings the advanced audio properties right here it was like that. It was only on one side, on the left side. So if you're only recording a microphone like I'm doing, you can hit the mono checkbox right here. And right now you have it on both channels. So it's a mono signal. Whatever is going to the left channel of this input is also going into the right channel. Close this. Now what you're gonna do in the mixer itself. Let me make this bigger for you. If you go into the routing and go into the card, this is where you decide what comes out of the sound card of the mixer. By default, I'm sending out from it XLR inputs. So whatever is getting into my stage box is going out directly to the card in case I want to record multi-tracks. And so in this case, my microphone is on input number one from the stage box. So it's going out of output number one of the card. That's how I'm getting it into OBS. However, if you want to send something else, you can decide from here. And by the way, OBS only reads first eight inputs from your card. Okay, so whatever you want to send to OBS it has to be on output 1 to 8 this one right now I have my channel number one with the fader up going to the main left right with the fader up so if I want to send the main left right directly to OBS what I can do is assign out 1 to 8 of the card to out 9 to 16 and that is from the out page so if I go here to the out page 15 and 16 are the main left right so by assigning out 9 to 16 to out 1 to 8 of the card I am easily sending the main left right to OBS directly. Now what's happening is I am sending the main left right, this one, to OBS. However, if I want to record multi-tracks, I'm also wasting the other six output because I'm only using the last two. So if I want to record 30 channels and leave the last for OBS, here's what I'm gonna do. Since only the first eight outputs of the cards can be read by OBS, I'll have to scooch these over. So I'll have to do this for recording the inputs. I have 9 to 16 recording 1 to 8 and so on. And this, I will give it to 
user out 25 to 32. I'm not gonna click on it right now because we don't have anything assigned to it yet. And if I click on it, I will lose audio that is going to OBS and you will not be able to hear me. I will first go to the user out page. And what did we want to do? We wanted to give out one to eight of the card to user out 25 to 32. So I'll go to the user out and go to 25 to 32, go to the AS50A because I have a stage box connected to the AS50A and I will give it 25 to 32, sign 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And the last two will be the main left right. So I'm still on output 25 to 32, but I will go all the way to out 9 to 16 right here. And these are the outputs of the out page, this one. And on 15, 16, I have my main left, right? So I'm going to go back to the user out and set output 31 to be 15 and output 32 to be 16. So now you can see right here, I have the local inputs coming here and the last two are the main left, right? So this way, if I want to multi-track record with the card, I can right now assign output 1 to 8 to user out 25 to 32. And I still have audio on OBS because we assign things properly here. And so right now I can record all channels 1 to 30 with this one and the main left right will go to OBS. And now in OBS you're going to go to the settings again and audio and in the mic slash auxiliary audio you're going to select 7 8 and you're going to hit apply. Okay and still one more thing that I did earlier go into the settings right here advanced audio properties and uncheck the mono because you want your whole mix. So now this is a stereo signal that is coming from the main left right into OBS. Okay, because we set it in the routing to be 7, 8. So the last two inputs from the card that OBS can read. Now, if you feel confused about user routing and output routing through this kind of grid, I understand. And that's why I made a video about output routing. I'll put it on the screen right now. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Click on the video on the screen right now and I'll see you in the next video.